Wow. Where, where the fuck do I start? I cannot believe this movie. Okay, so first off, this is, I'm gonna warn you guys, this is just a rant video. Uh, I'm just trying to get all my feelings out. It's not gonna be edited or anything like that. I'm just kind of unloading to you guys. Uh, secondly, wanna warn you, there are gonna be major spoilers in this. Absolutely huge. I'm just gonna talk about the whole fucking movie, basically. So definitely do not listen if you care about spoilers. If you wanna go see this movie, I suggest doing it right now or as soon as you can just click off the video if you don't want spoilers if you want to watch the movie at like its purest form with no spoilers okay. however if you've already seen the movie if you don't give a shit about the movie if you just want to listen to the video it's all your choice so uh let's get into it firstly i do want to say there were a couple things i liked about the movie unfortunately this is a three hour movie and a couple is not enough um, there were a couple really good jokes I liked, some really good scenes. Uh, the choreography was really good. Let's start off by saying the choreography was amazing. The fight scenes were just fucking great. Um, unfortunately I expect that at this point. They've kind of been doing these action movies for 11 years now. Started off with Iron Man 1 in May of 2011. So... 2011? I think it was 2011. Shit, so maybe they've only been doing them for eight years. <laughs> Anyways. <laughs> well, like I said, we're not editing this. We're just going to keep going, even if I fuck up like that. So, um, the, yeah, the choreography was great. I do expect that after they've been doing it for so long. Um, the movie started out really good. Um, there's a really great scene with Hawkeye at the beginning. We're getting into spoilers right now. Leave. <laughs> okay. Um, that was your warning, so let's go. It's a great scene starts out with Hawkeye at the beginning. Um, and he's playing with his family because he wasn't involved in Infinity War or anything like that. He's playing with his family and he turns around to talk about, like, having hot dogs or something to his wife. And his fucking little girl disappears. Right? She goes poof. And he turns around and he's looking for his little girl. He's like, where the fuck is she? Morgan or whatever her name is. Her name's not Morgan. That's Tony's kid. Anyways. Um, and then he turns back around and, you know, his other two kids and his wife are gone. And he's all fucked up. That was a great fucking way to start it. I loved that beginning. It had me so hopeful for this movie. So goddamn good. Um, and then we go to Tony on the ship. And that's pretty good. He's like fucking dying. He's all fucked up on the ship and he's with Nebula <clears throat> coming home from their fight with Thanos and they've run out of fuel or their ship's broken or something like that. So they're just floating in space. Out of nowhere, out of fucking left fucking field, Captain Marvel just comes in and she just waves at fucking Tony and she, she picks up the ship and she brings it home. She brings it back to Earth. Out of fucking nowhere. And... <laughs> then the movie, like, drastically takes a dip. Um, you know, she's just... Captain Marvel is just there. And by the way, I'm gonna shit on Captain Marvel a lot in this one. Um, Pre-warning, I did not see the Captain Marvel movie. I haven't had time to go see it, unfortunately. Um, I was gonna try and watch it today, but I just didn't have time. So, I have not seen that yet. However, she just came out of fucking nowhere in this movie, it feels like. Um... Even the Avengers at some point are like, where the fuck were you? Who are you again? Uh, and she's like, I have other, you know, there's other planets that need saving. And you guys aren't there for them. Okay, cunt, wh why are you such a bitch? Sh she's just a bitch right off the bat. And it, the movie takes a dive because of her. Um, and then it, it goes on to um, uh, Ant-Man and he comes back and that's fine. He's funny. His jokes are pretty good. Um, and they start trying to do this whole um, uh, time travel thing. So they end up, long story short, they figure out the time travel thing. Tony fucking creates it. They go to do the time travel thing to get all the stones back. Um, and the pacing is super weird in this, which I also didn't like. Um, they go back to get the stones. They break off into three groups to go get the stones. There's like two or three stones a piece for each person. Um, and they get the stones just fine. There's a couple of mishaps, but when the mishaps are happening, it's just like, well, that's gonna work out anyways. It has to work out anyways because 
there, there would be no movie if it didn't work out. If anything in this past sequence does not work out, there will be no movie. So there was no tension, there was no worry. It was just like, go get the stones, come back to the, the present or the future or whatever, right? And fix the mess. Um, oh, God damn it, I forgot to mention. Uh, another good thing they did, they go to fucking find the stones with Thanos and he, they just fucking kill him immediately. Thor just fucking whacks his head off, he, he dies. So from that point, you're like, where the fuck is the movie gonna go? And then they go and get the stones from the past to fix everything. Um, so that was really good too, I liked that a whole lot. Um, but the, the pacing with the stones was bad because you knew it was gonna happen, there was no tension there. When little mishaps happened, it was like comedic. So it wasn't really a big deal. Um, the comedy was awful. It was so fucking bad. It was like shit that I, I swear to God, I actually swear to God, I, Amy Schumer could have written these. It was so fucking awful. Like, Thor gets all depressed and he becomes like fat in the like five year jump that they have in this movie. And he just drinks beer all the time and he's like a sad sap. And every fucking 10 goddamn minutes, they pan down to his belly and it's just like, ha ha, he's fat. That's the joke. That's the whole joke. Ha ha. Or like Ant-Man goes into the past. They're trying this whole time travel thing out. And he comes back as a baby. And then he comes back as an old man. And then he comes back as himself. And he's like, someone wet my pants, but I don't know if it was the old me or the baby me or the me me. And everyone just fucking loses their mind laughing. And it's like actual potty humor. It's just the fucking worst. And, and almost the whole movie is like that. It's such bad comedy. And I don't know how they did it. Because like, all the other movies have done comedy at least decent. Like at least where I could chuckle at the jokes. This was, I was cringing the whole fucking movie. It was awful. Holy shit, I can't believe they did jokes this bad. Um, that being said, there were a couple jokes that I really liked. Um, there was a point where someone, I don't remember who, but someone references Rocket as Ratchet. They call him Ratchet. And I thought that was a really cute reference to Ratchet and Clank. Um, no one laughed in the theater, but I thought that it was, it was a funny little quirky joke. XD quirky. Um, and then they did one where it was um, America's ass. It's a, Tony said something about how um, Captain America's outfit did nothing for his ass. And Ant-Man said, you know, I disagree, that's America's ass. And he fucking salutes the screen. And I thought that was great. And then later on, um, Captain America kicks Captain America's ass, like future and past like beat up each other and future wins and he gets the fucking tesseract and he's starting to leave and he stops and he looks at uh at his own ass on captain america past boy and he's like that is america's ass and that was a really good moment i thought that that was a good funny setup joke well set up joke um but it was really it. That was really all that was funny in the movie, unfortunately. I'm sure there's a couple of jokes I'm not thinking of, but those are the really only two impactful jokes that, like, the movie, the whole movie left on me. This movie is three hours. So those were the only jokes in the whole movie that left an impact on me. It was so bad. Um, fucking... Let's talk about the plot now. Okay, because this is where most of my anger for this movie comes into play because all of it was mediocre up until this point minus the jokes which were really bad they were just awful but all of it was just like mediocre it was okay um the action was really good the story was meh and the comedy was bad so it was all just an eh movie um but then the plot you know they get all the fucking stones they come back home there's this subplot going on where nebula past nebula and future nebula connect when future nebula is in the past and it like alerts thanos that the avengers are doing this whole grab the stones go back to the future thing um so 
Thanos and Nebula and Gamora all past are trying to stop the Avengers now. And um, uh, so they, they are following them into, they, they get future Nebula and they beat the shit out of her and they take her little pin or her pen thing. The fucking red future transporty boy. That's what I'm gonna call it, sorry. <laughs> they take it. And Thanos is like, I'm gonna get to the fucking future now, I'm gonna kick their ass. Meanwhile, the Avengers are in the future. Uh, incorrect past Nebula comes with and is posing as future slash present Nebula. Mm. She messes with the, the <clears throat> thing that's bringing everyone to the future to allow Thanos to come to the future. Um, while she's doing that, everyone else is in like a fucking locked down room about to snap their fucking fingers and bring everyone back. And you know, the Hulk has the gauntlet on and this whole thing is happening and no one fucking notices that she's not there. This is like a party of six or seven. There's like barely anyone in this room. Who the fuck didn't notice that Nebula wasn't there? Who in the room? There's there's so many people. Who the fuck didn't notice that Nebula's not there? So they don't notice Nebula's not there. Hulk snaps his fucking fingers. He brings everyone back. It works. Tee hee ha ha. That's great. While this is happening, Thanos comes through the portal with his literal entire ship. The whole fucking thing. I don't know how they did it. They don't show us how Thanos did this. It's not like Thanos comes while holding the ship because they showed us earlier that you could do something like that. Rocket shrank his ship down really small and he gave it to someone. I'm sorry, I can't remember. But he gave it to someone and he's like, make sure you bring this fucking ship back to me. Um, and he's like, yeah, I'll, I'll do that. Um, and he takes the ship with him. So it's already shown that you can transport a thing with you so long as you have it held in your hand. I don't know how Thanos got his whole fucking ship over though. I don't know if he built something to shrink it or what, what he did. I, I have no idea. All he had was the little red pin thing. He didn't have like the suit. He didn't have the actual device that is the portal to transport you into the future or past. I don't know how the fuck he did it. Um, but so Thanos comes through with his literal ship and it grows a bunch and out of fucking nowhere, he shoots these missiles at everyone at the whole entire Avengers facility that's there. He just shoots everyone with these barrage of missiles. And and people are like not expecting it. So they get fucking blasted by this. They get just their their butts rammed with these missiles. No one dies. Not a single soul dies from that. There's like just people. That some of the Avengers are just normal dudes. They're like just me, but they shoot really good. Like Hawkeye is just a guy and he just shoots arrows very good times. How, what? How the fuck did he not die? How did some of these people not die? Ant-Man's just a dude. He's just a fucking guy. But like he shrinks. He has a suit that shrinks him. How? How the fuck are they alive? I have no fucking clue. It was, it literally disintegrated the building and they were fine. So I don't know how that happened at all, but they all get up, they fucking push the rubble off themselves and they get up. Um, and Thanos is there now and he's gonna kick their fucking ass and Nebula is gonna kick their fucking ass and they're gonna take the thing and they're gonna, they're gonna take the gauntlet and snap their fingers and wipe out the whole place because Thanos is pissed now and he wants the whole fucking planet erased. And then he's just gonna make new people that are grateful for what he's done and not try to undo his progress. That's his new plan. So everyone just gets the fuck up and they grab the gauntlet and they're trying to go return it to the past while this massive, he, he brings a, a literal entire army with him. I don't know where these people come from. I don't know how he transported all these people into the future. I don't know where they came from. I don't know if they came from his ship it looked like there were things coming, like, not from the ship, though. Like, they, they were, they were like, giant diamond-looking things that were spitting out 
a bunch of army people. I have not a fucking clue where those people came from. It feels like they took the the time travel thing and with Thanos they just said fuck it, just bring the fucking army. So there's an army now and they're trying to get the fucking gauntlet back to the past instead of just putting the gauntlet on again and snapping the whole army away. Like, like, Doctor Strange comes in and he brings a fuck ton of people, like a whole fucking army, and he brings all the Avengers and everyone loses their minds even though they knew that was gonna happen. Everyone's fucking clapping, losing their brains. And I'm just sitting in the theater, like, just have Hulk put on the fucking gauntlet again and snap the army away. Why are you battling this? And I thought, I swear, I thought that they were gonna, like, jebate me. And that the two armies were going to come at each other. And then out of nowhere, like, the Hulk was going to come out. And he was going to be like, Hulk smash. And he was going to fucking snap his fingers. And the whole Thanos army was going to go away. And that was going to be, like, the end of the movie. <laughs> I really thought. But they they didn't do that. They were, like, fighting. They all were started fighting. And I, I had no idea why they were doing that. And they had the gauntlet in their hand at all times. Trying to get it to the portal that was in Ant-Man's van and Scott's van and trying to get it over there and I I don't have a goddamn clue why they never thought to like snap their fucking fingers and just make the army go away but they didn't and this whole time Thanos is like fighting he's got his henchmen with him because he brought all them into the future somehow and um they're fighting and shit like that and none of the Avengers are on any of the um henchmen they're also not on thanos at all it's like background characters fighting thanos and thanos is like laughably just smacking them around like he just fucking i don't even think he lifts a finger i think his guardians just fucking or his henchmen just shit all over the background characters so i don't know why none of the people from the avengers are like trying to fight this guy or at least keep him at bay but no one was fighting him at first. It wasn't until like way later when he approached them and tried to grab the gauntlet that they even did anything. So that was fucking terrible. Um, what else? Oh, and then, yeah, so, sorry. They, they are fighting him and more missiles are coming down from the ship. And the henchmen are like, oh, wait, but your people, Thanos, don't bring the missiles down. And he's like, fuck my people. I'm about to die. Bring the missiles down. And so he brings the barrage of missiles down and things are looking bleak. And out of fucking nowhere again, because Captain Marvel is not here the whole time. She just fucking out of nowhere comes and like Superman zooms through the ship and destroys it. And then she she comes down and she kicks the shit out of Thanos for a little bit. And then she she's she's down on the surface level with, with all of the peasants, right? All the peasants with her. And I'm not fucking kidding you. Literally the worst part of a movie I've ever seen in my life. Minus like maybe the Mary Poppins scene from Star Wars. To all the wit the men just fuck off somewhere. I don't know where they fucking go, but all the men just leave. And only the female characters are there. So, like, Captain Marvel fucking Superman lands in, and all the women fucking, uh, uh, Wakanda bitches, and fucking Red Scarlet bitch, and just all of the women, only the women, are there to fight Thanos. And they do like a woman power fucking fight montage for a little bit. And it's the most jolting, disorienting thing I've ever seen in my whole fucking life in movies. I'm not even kidding you. They did a feminism moment in the movie. And it didn't make a lick of sense. It would make sense if like, maybe he kicked the ass of all the men for some reason. Because they were all trying to fight him. And then... Out of nowhere, the women all band together and they come kick- No, the men were fine, nothing happened to them, they just fucked off. And the women came in and they were like, we're gonna- Woman power! And they all try to kick his ass. It was- it was so fucking awful. 
And so the women get pushed back a little bit and uh, Thanos and, and Captain Marvel are fighting and she gets her ass kicked for a second. And then she comes back and she's super Mary Sue's just like of course she would. And she's sitting there getting head butted by him and she's kind of kicking his ass. And then finally the men come in and they're also kind of helping kick his ass. And then Tony gets the fucking uh, stones. So somehow, like his his uh, his suit takes the stones, um, and it's in his fucking hand, and he's getting all fucked up by the power, and he snaps, and he does the fucking. This is not a meme. I'm not memeing. He does the literal thing that they should have done at the beginning of the fight, and he wipes the whole army in a snap. I'm not fucking joking you. He does the literal thing that should have been done the second they saw an army. He takes the stones, once Thanos had them, and he snaps his fingers, and the whole army disintegrates. They don't, like, win. They just go away. And Thanos is the last one to go away, and he sits down, and he fucking, I don't feel so good, Mr. Stark moment, and he fucking disintegrates. And that's... That's it, the fight's over. And then Tony dies because he used so much power. It was too much power for him. And I just, and, and, he, and he stays dead, he's dead. Tony Stark is dead and he's not coming back. And for some reason they still had the stones and it, it like burnt up Hulk's arm to bring back half of the entire population of everything on planet earth but all it did was burn up his arm he it would have it would have like broken his his small pinky toe to bring back tony why did they not bring back tony what the fuck what why is he gone why the fuck is he gone forever that was so silly and he didn't even need to die in the first place. Let's let's pretend that he needed to in the theory of why didn't Hulk bring him back or someone else that could have used the gauntlet. Let's, but he didn't even need to die in the first place because they could have just snapped their fingers before the battle even fucking started. I just absurd, absolutely just absurd. All the plot holes leading to more plot holes. My biggest issue was the last like hour of the movie when they come back and they have the stones because all of it doesn't make sense. And every little thing that I have wrong with the movie, like not recognizing that Nebula wasn't there, or how did Thanos bring his whole ship? How did Thanos bring an entire army? Why didn't they just snap their fingers at the beginning and get rid of the army? All of these little steps, and why did Tony stay dead? All these little things could have been remedied at any point, right? But they wanted the movie to end a certain way so they made all these things happen, despite the set of rules that they had already deemed for this universe. And it just... It, the movie was already like maybe a six, and I'm being generous, before this ending fight. But the ending just fucking made me want to actually eat poison. It was so insulting. It was like Disney and Marvel just spit in my fucking mouth, had me gargle it and then swallow it. I cannot believe how bad that ending was. And at this point, like, it was, it was just like, <sighs> I, I'm, I'm insulted that not only did I spend money on this and give money to this company, but I wasted three and a half hours of my life, probably four and a half, because I got there early, because I had to to get good seats. I wasted that time of my life doing this. And then we all sit there, the whole fucking theater is sitting there, people are standing next to the exit so that they can leave quickly, but they're still waiting until the ending because they always do this ending scene. And for all of that, that accumulation of all these movies, and then the, the, the next steps to the new movies, like fucking um, the next Spider-Man and the next Guardians, all of these new movies. Do you want to know what the fucking ending scene was? Do you just guess. I'll give you a second, guess. Because I guarantee you, if you haven't seen it, you're not gonna be able to fucking guess what it is. It is that fucking insulting. I'm gonna give you a second. Okay, did, did you guess it? Okay, let's, let's test you. 
the ending after waiting through all of that horrible movie that horrible movie and that horrible fucking ending sequence with the fucking credits and the shitty music whatever the ending sequence is a black screen with the noise of a hammer hitting metal that's it that's the whole fucking ending it is a sound clip of someone hitting metal like a blacksmith it sounds like I went to the blacksmith in Dark Souls. That's the ending. What? What? I, I, can, I can assume what it is, right? I can assume that it's probably the dwarf. I, I don't know why. I mean, I, if I maybe read the fucking comics, I might know why. That might mean more to me. But... <sighs> what the fuck is just a sound clip of metal hitting metal? Why, at the end of this huge fucking movie, would you do that to someone? I just... And maybe I'm, I'm over-exaggerating it because I was so pissed off at the last hour of this movie, but it just felt like a slap in the face. The whole fucking thing just felt like a slap in the face. And I, I am seeing fantastic reviews, and everyone's loving it, and I'm so confused. And I wish I could be in on the, the little party that everyone's having, because I had a miserable time watching this. It was like average, and then it was shit all of a sudden. And I was shocked that no one else in the theater was pissed off about how bad it is. Um, I, I guess that's that's really all my talking points. I mean, like, the theater was cringy and annoying too. People are so fucking normie, it makes me wanna die. Everyone laughed at all the poo poo pee pee jokes and the Amy Schumer humor, and every single time that it panned down to Thor's belly, Everyone in the theater cackled like a fucking witch. Um, people fucking clapping in the theater need to be banned. They actually, whoever did that, whoever started that trend needs to die. And then everyone should be like, it should be against the law to clap your hands in a fucking theater. Cause it's so fucking cringy awful. And if you do it and you're insulted right now, I don't care. It is just the worst fucking thing. I hated it. They clapped so much during the movie, it was terrible. I just, and I mean, the, the audience didn't make the movie any better. Unfortunately, they, they were very cringy. But the movie itself was just fucking garbage. And I can't believe that they, they, they went from Infinity War, which I thought was one of the best Marvel movies that they've ever made, right? I love Homecoming, and I love the two Guardians films. Those are my favorites. But I think that in, Infinity War is probably a close fourth. In, in all of the cinematic history of Marvel. And I don't know how you go from Infinity War being such a holy grail of the Marvel Cinematic Universe to this. This was like the worst Marvel movie they've ever made, in my opinion. It was so awful. And maybe it wasn't the worst, but I'm just angry that the accumulation turned into this. Like, the accumulation of all those years of movies. But, like... Fuck me, it was so fucking bad. I, I don't know, I mean, I just- I want to hear what you guys think about it. I- you know, I'm not saying that you're wrong for your opinion. And I'm sure there's gonna be maybe a couple people that are pissy about <laughs> the opinions I've put out here. And that's totally fine, man. I get super passionate about movies too. Which is why I'm so angry about this one. Like, I just- I- I- I can't articulate how upset I was by this movie because I was genuinely really excited. I, I saw Infinity War premiere night and I was very excited for this movie. Even though I'm a little burnt on the Marvel Cinematic Universe now, I'm so invested that I went and saw this and I was very excited and I just felt really, really fucking let down. So I don't know guys, just let me know what you think. Any talking points I missed, I'd love to hear them. Anything you disagree with, I'd love to hear them. I just really want to, I don't know, talk about the movie. I'd fuck, please tell me your opinions on that fucking woman scene. That was the fucking worst thing I've ever seen. I can't articulate that enough. I know I've already talked about it in detail, but wow. I can't believe they virtue signaled that hard in this movie. I just, I, I, I'm still trying to wrap my brain around it. It feels like a fucking dream sequence. I think Captain Marvel is the worst thing to happen to this fucking cinematic universe. Because, 
I didn't even have a problem with her that much before, but her in this movie being such a cunt and then being like the feminist icon and like banding all the other females together was just hell. It was sinful how bad it was. Ugh. Anyway, I guess I've, I've ranted enough, I guess. I should probably just chill and let you guys post your comments and shit like that. Ugh, it's late. It's like, it's like two in the morning and I work, so I should stop now. I just don't know where a good stopping point for this is, so I'm just rambling. Anyways, comment about it, talk to me about it, even if you disagree, just lay into me if you disagree. I want to, I want to hear it all. Alright guys. Oh, uh, sorry, the, <laughs> I've never done these before. The, the rating for the movie, it's a 3 out of 10. Solid 3 out of 10. Uh, and I'm, I'm not gonna budge on that. Maybe a four if I'm being kind, but, but a three, definitely a three.